What's going on? I got Mr. Achilles on my arm here. Anyway, uh, uh, here's 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 the thing. Um, I want to discuss. I want to go into like some deeper epistemological type of stuff here. Um, I tried to get into it a little bit while back, but I was screwing up at it, so I just kind of just feel retarded. So I want to start off with discussing the epistemic regress problem. The epistemic regress problem um, has to do with justification. Um, epist epist epistemology is a big division of it. It involves ju justification and you know having justified a belief. Uh, it's a whole big two. There's two big things that started a huge movement uh, in the '60s beyond beyond WVO Quine. After Quine, um, a lot of a lot of things started occurring because you had things like the Getty problems, and you had I'll talk about the Getty problems in a different video. But you had the Getty problems, and you had the epistemic regress problem. The, re the regress problem had to do with just justification beliefs. The big problem between the Getty problem and the the regress problem is because uh, it well it was just wondered what is well what is the big uh, the big thing you know what what can confer just justificational status for a belief that's all that was wanted you know what confers justificational status you know how does one get something how does one get a certain belief of theirs justified. And uh, the, the, the epistemic regress problem was where if you, if you have a belief, let's say I believe that that dog is purple. Let's say I have a belief that that, that dog is purple. Um, I will need a meta belief, a meta belief, a uh, let's see, it's a extra belief. It, it a meta belief will justify the first belief. So I need, I need a meta-belief to justify my belief that that dog is purple. So I create a, a, I create a meta-belief. Uh, the meta-belief the meta justifies the fact that the dog is orange. If and only if the meta-belief itself is, is justified. Which is the meta-belief justified. Let's say, let's say my, my, my meta-belief for the fact that the dog is orange is because I saw the dog dive into a pool of purple paint. That's my that's my meta belief, which justifies why the, my belief that the dog's purple. Now, the meta belief is itself is not is not justified. So I need a meta meta belief, a further extra belief, a meta meta belief to justify the meta belief. Now, whatever that is, you know, the the meta the meta, meta belief will justify the meta, the meta belief. But then, uh, is the meta meta belief justified? No, you need a meta 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 belief to justify the meta meta belief, and this will continue to this will regress into a, into infinity. This will never ever stop, which is why this is a problem. So uh, unless you're a uh, what do they call it an, an infinitist infin uh, infinitist person something like that. I think they call it a, in, uh, in, un, it's they call it infinitism. That uh, uh, unless you are part of the group of belief of infinitism, then you're going to see a little problem with this little regress into meta meta beliefs and further meta beliefs. You know, it's it's definitely problematic because unless you justify, if you, unless you continues to continue to continue to just justify things, my first belief, uh, all I wanted was to was just justify that belief. I would want is to just to justify belief that the fact that the, that the dog is purple. That's all I want to do. This is obviously a problem unless you're an infinitist. Um, so, you know, that, that's, that's one thing. Now, this is going to cause division into things like externalism and internalism, where if you're an, if you're an externalist, you think that justifications for your beliefs come from outside of your cognitive perception, and uh, if if uh, you're an uh, internalist, you think that all of your all of your justifications come from within your cognitive perception. And then you have foundationalism and coherentism. Foundationalism being being that one of those meta beliefs in that big huge 
regress. One of those is basic is a basic belief which needs no justification to to justify itself, and it stands alone. It stands by itself, you know. Which can ju which can you know you can build other things on top of that foundational belief. But uh, and then coherentism is where you have a coherent system of beliefs where. Uh, you have a bunch of beliefs, and then they each dovetail with each other, with each other, and each each, each belief standing in relations of, of mutual su support with uh, primary units of interrelated justification. All of that causes each belief to help to justify each other. So then you have that too. But I'll, I'll I'll talk about this more. But I wanted to introduce the the rest problem in case you were wondering.